Jews 5 is divided into three passages. The first passage, 23 to 43, starts off talking about marriage and the obligation of the bridal gift, the mehar, that is owed to the woman, taking us to 34, that talks about the responsibilities upon a husband and a wife, and then outlining the measures of reconciliation between them should there be disputes. 36 contains within it divine directives to support the framework of a healthy society starting with establishing Tawheed, respecting parents, kindness towards relatives, orphans, the needy, the poor, the neighbor, the person seated next to you, the traveler, and the ones over whom you have authority, leading us to the first ruling for the prohibition of alcohol in 43. Do not come close to Salah wa antum sukara while you are drunk. Then talking about attaining purity through wudu, ghusl, and tayammum in the same ayah following which are numerous directives on how to deal with the enemies of Islam, highlighting the deep-rooted corruption within their hearts that lead them to distorting the words of the divine as mentioned in 46. 50 talks about them inventing lies against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, therefore concluding the passage with the description of the punishment to warn them and following it up with the mention of Jannah to inspire them to change their ways. 58 to 94 talks about the condition to obey the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in numerous ayahs 59 65 69 and then 80 wa may yuti'ir rasul whoever obeys the messenger has for sure obeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leading us to verse 81 where we find the discussion of the hypocrites and their reluctance to obey rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the concluding verses of this passage Allah reminds the believers of his favors in guiding them to Islam and urging them to defend their faith against the enemies even if they have to stand up by themselves all alone. Islam is a religion of peace, therefore 91 lists the code of conduct with people outside of Islam. 92 to 93 provides the legal rulings for four cases of killing, then leading us to the final passage from 95 to 147 that contains the matter of migration to the land of Islam, rulings around the salah of a traveler or performing Salah in a battlefield. This then takes us to the end of the juz that begins with an address to the Muslims to uphold justice in every situation, be it with a Muslim or a non Muslim, relative or a stranger, friend or an enemy, poor person or a rich person, concluding the juz with another campaign against hypocrisy and then finally ending with a touch full of inspiration. What has Allah got to gain by punishing you? All he wants from you is that you believe in him and you be his grateful servants. Verse 147. <laughs> Oh,